الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته كيف حالكم؟ الحمد لله Apologies for the late start this morning بسم الله So Did you have some homework to do? So you had some homework to do You had to do I think 7 point What was the number? 7.2 and 7.3 for homework. So inshallah, if you can take out your homework, inshallah, we can start there. Okay, Bismillah. Let's look. Uh, I have an answer sheet for this, and you did have this for homework uh, for two weeks now, inshallah. So it should uh, hopefully not be blank. Your sheet uh, 7.2. It's the 7.3, this one, eh? So 7.3. 7.3. Okay, so let's go through a few answers for a few minutes, inshallah, just to recap. So we'll begin with number 5, inshallah. So fa we, you haven't marked this yet in class. No. So number five. فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ Now you can see the sentence are, sentences are getting a bit longer. So there's more to, to analyze, more to think about. So فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ What's the translation? Your Lord did with the companions of the elephant. Okay, we'll go through it in detail, inshallah, but where in that sentence is the attached pronoun? The ka is attached to rob. So rob means lord or master, so what's rabbuka? Your lord or your master. So the ka there is the, that's what the thing that you're looking at there actually is the, is the attached pronoun. The ka is the attached pronoun, and ka refers to you one male. Who is the one that you one male? The lord of you one male. Who's the one male? It's not Rabbukum. Rabbukum means all of, the Lord of all of you. Rabbuki is the Lord of you, one female. What's Rabbuka? The Lord of you, one male. Who's the one? You're one male. I was only speaking about one person here. Who's the one person? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nabiyuna. Naam. So Allah is speaking to the Prophet directly sallallahu alayhi wa Allah is speaking to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So fa'ala did rabbuka, rabbu is the fa'il, the doer. Rabbuka, your Lord. Always said that the damir attached to the ism is also mudaf and mudaf in ilayh. So you could say the Lord of you, your Lord, same thing, rabbuka. Fa'ala rabbuka, be with ashab al-feel, ashab, companions, al-feel, the elephant, and if you look carefully there, you'll see base harfu jar. Therefore, ashab is ismul majroor. If you look carefully there, you'll see ashab is light. It's not ashab bin, it's ashabi. Now al, now tanween. And feel is jar. What does light followed by jar? If I see light followed by jar, what, what do I say? It's mudaf and mudaf nilay. If I have mudaf and mudaf nilay, what do I add? In terms of translation, what do I add? The and of. So I say, be with the companions 
of the elephant. Okay. So there's quite a few things there in that sentence. Next one, number six. So fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al Number six. Thaqulat mawazinuhu. Thaqulat means to become heavy. Mawazin means scales. So where is the attached pronoun there? Wu. Attached to mawazin. So what's the meaning of mawazinuhu? He scales. He scales. The scales of him. He scales. Thaqulat means to become heavy. And the, the doer for thaqulat is mawazinu. Is he scales. Thaqulat. If you start from the beginning. Thaqula. Let's go down. Thaqula. Thaqa. Thaqu. Lu. Thaqu. Lat. Like fa'ala. Fa'alu. Fa'alat. Again. Thaqula. Thaqula. Thaqulu. Thaqu. Lat. What's the is it a male verb or a female verb? So why is it a female verb? Okay, let me take a step back. Take a step back. Where is the doer for thakulat? Thakulat means to become heavy. Where is the doer? The fa'il. Is the ta at the end there? Is it the ta at the end? No. The tower with the sukun is not the, never the doer. That tower with the sukun is there to indicate that the word is female. So where is the doer? Okay, no, no, okay let's take a step back. Remember, how do you find the doer? You apply Eli. You look at the end. So at the end of thakulat, is there, is there something there? There's a tower with sukun, but that can't be the doer. The tower with the sukun is there to show you that the, the verb is female. Okay. After end, where do you look next? Left. I'm looking for something in Raf'un. Is there a word in Raf'un there? Which word? Mawazinu. Can see it's not as Mawazina or Mawazini. It's Mawazinu, which means scales. If I add the who, it means he scales. So the the fa'i, the doer there is actually scales. Mawazin is the doer. Because thakulat means what? To become heavy. What has become heavy? He scales. Can you see the scales itself has become heavy, therefore the scales is the the doer. Just to make you a bit more confused, uh, mawazin is the plural of mizan. So mizan means one scale, balance. Mawazin means scales. Is the is, so is mawazin single or plural? Plural. Is it a human? It's a plural of a non human thing. In Arabic, when I have a, pl- a plural of a non-human thing, I refer to it as a single female. Therefore, I'm saying thakulat. You understand why? Thakulat, because I'm referring to the mawazin. Okay. If you're a bit confused, that's fine, inshallah. You're part of the club. Now, all I just want to say, I want to point out to you, in Arabic, when you have the plural of a non-human thing, we refer to it as a single female, single feminine. Then we don't say thakula, because it's single male. Mawazinuhu, we say thakulat, mawazinuhu. You with me? That's how, how we refer to it. You must see it now because it happens all the time in the Quran. So you're just getting used to it now, inshallah. Okay. Next one. Ta'rifu fi hujuhihim nadratan na'im. Do you do this one already? It sounds so familiar. Anyway, ta'arifu. Ta'arifu means to know. It also means to recognize. So who's knowing, who's recognizing? Who's the doer? So this comes from ya'arifu. Let's go down the, down the scale, ya'arifu. Ya'arifu. Do you know your scales? Ya'arifu. Ya'arifuna. Ta'arifu. That's she. Carry on. Ya'arifna. C- carry on. Ta'arifu, which means you. Let's try this card again, though it wasn't so smooth. Bismillah, ta'arifu, bismillah. Ta'arifu, ta'arifuna. Sorry, ta'arifu, ya'arifu. Ya'arifu, ya'arifuna, ta'arifu, ya'arifna. Ta'arifu, ta'arifuna, ta'arifina, ta'arifna. A'arifu, na'arifu. There's two ta'arifus. The one ta'arifu is she, and the other ta'arifu is you. 
But the, the, the one here being uh, spoken about based on the context is you. Ta'rifu. So there is a doer, the doer is inside. There's a you inside there. A you, one male inside there. What's a you, one male in Arabic? What's the word for you in Arabic? Who is he? He or she? What is you? Anta. Anta. So we say there's a hidden anta inside ta'rifu. Okay. There's a hidden anta inside ta'rifu. Ta'rifu. You ta'rifu. You will recognize. Fi hujuhihim. Where is the attached pronoun? Him. Huju means what? Waj is face. So huju is faces. Hujuhihim. Their faces. So Allah says, Ta'rifu, you will recognize, you will see, you will come to know. Fi in. In what? Their faces. Mudaf mudaf nilay. Fi harfu jar. Huju ismu majroor. At the same time it's mudaf and mudaf nilay. The faces of them, their faces. What did you come to recognize in their faces? What do you see in their faces? Nadratan na'im. If you look carefully there, nadra means like illumination, brightness. And na'im means bliss. So nadratan na'im is light followed by jar. Can you see nadrata? Not nadratan. There's no al, there's no tanwin. It must pop up, jump at you. Na'im is jar. Light followed by jar is what? Mudaf, mudaf, nilay, fiyah, mudaf, mudaf, nilay, what do you add? The and of, the nadra of na'im, of the na'im. The splendor, the brightness, the illumination of an na'im, of the bliss. An na'im is referred to Jannah. The, the illumination, the brightness of the bliss, the eternal bliss. So Allah says, ta'rifu, you will come to recognize. Fi hujuhihim. In their faces. What will you come to see, come to recognize? Nadrat al naim the splendor, the illumination, the brightness of the bliss. Okay, now another question. Why is the word nadratah? It's nasbun. Why is it nasbun? Why is it nasbun? How many nasbun things do you know? You know fa'il is raf'un, you know mubtara is raf'un, you know khabr is raf'un. You know ismu majdur is jarrun, and you know mudaf nilay is jarrun. How many nasbun things do you know? The done upon. Do you remember? Nasara zaydun bakran. Nasara al waladu al binta. The one that the action is done to, it's, it's nasb. You only know one thing in nasb. It's like 11, but next day, inshallah. But you know one thing in Nas. So that Nas, that Nadrata, there is actually maf'ul bihi. You recognize. In other words, Ta'rifu is the verb. Who is doing the verb? You doing the verb. What are you going to recognize? What is the recognition done upon? It's done upon the illumination, the brightness, the splendor of the, the bliss. Now, next one. Wa ummihi wa abi. Wa ummihi. Translation first. And his mother and his father, where is the attached pronoun? Both his. Ummihi and Abi. Next one, number nine. Khatam Allahu ala kulubihim. What does Khatam mean? To place a, a seal. What does the place a seal mean? It means to cover something. Like if you seal food, you put it in a packet and you close it up. That's a sealing. So Allah khatam as a, when Allah seals, it's not a positive thing, it's a negative thing. Because when something is closed up, you can't get light inside of it. When you wrap something up tightly or you put it in a box or something and you make a khatama and you seal it, no light can go in and no light can come out. Allah says here, khatama, khatama, it's a verb. It's a, 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 a missing on the mim. Khatama, like fa'ala. Who did the verb? It's on, it's on, on the end there, there's no khatamu or khatamta or khatamti or 
Khatamna So there's nothing in Go to the left I see the word Allah So the word Allah is the doer Khatam Allahu Allah has sealed Allah has placed a seal Where? Ala Upon Qulubihim Their hearts And again you can see there The him Is A attached pronoun Qulub means hearts And the him is attached pronoun Qulubihim all we're doing here, I know it's long sentences, but what you're taking out there is you're getting used to the attached pronoun. It happens all the time in the Quran, you must get used to the he, the him, the ka, the kum, the e, the na. It's going to happen all the time. Eventually it's going to become automatic, you won't even think about it. I'll just say, Nabi yukum. What are you going to tell me? Nabi, or let's say, Rasulukum. You're a messenger, because you're used to the kum. You with me? If I say Dinuka, your religion. If I say Baytuhu, what are you gonna say? His house. So all I'm getting you don't don't get lost. I'm obviously giving you all the detail of the whole sentence, but I'm saying you what you're taking out of the lesson, especially specifically, is you're getting used to the Damir. Because the Damir happens all the time. All the time. The Damir is the most common thing. The Tash pronoun is the most common thing. Next one. وَإِذَا فَرَقْنَا بِكُمُ الْبَحْرَ وَإِذْ وَإِذَا وَإِذْ وَإِذْ أَنْ وِنْ فَرَقْنَا That verb is فَعَلَى فَرَقَ Let's go down all together. Say it like we know it. فَرَقَ فَرَقُوا فَرَق No, 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 say it like you know it. Bismillah, فَرَقَ فَرَقَ فَرَقُوا فَرَقَتْ فَرَقْنَا فَرَقْتَ فَرَقْتُمْ فَرَقْتِ Faraktunna Faraktu Faraqna Farak I mean to split What does Faraqna mean? We split We split The we refers to Allah It's the royal we Sometimes Allah refers to himself in the plural Especially in a context where Allah wants to display his power Display his power Faraqna وَإِذْ and when فَرَقْنَا So the fa'il, the doer is the na Referring to Allah And when we split بِكُمْ What's بِكُمْ Okay, for you could be one thing What is the translation? What did you learn B as? It also means with. With you, via you. Bikum can be for you, can also mean via you. In other words, you are the ones who you entered the sea and via entering on the sea, we split it open. You with me? Bikum. Wa ida, wa id, and when? Faraqna. We split open. Bikum. With you, via you, for you. The kum there is the attached pronoun. Bi is harful jar. The kum is an attached pronoun. What do we split, split for you? Al-Bahra, the sea or the ocean. Al-Bahra, why is the nasb? Why is the nasb? How many things do you know in nasb? One thing, maf'oolun bihi. I'm not saying every nasb is maf'oolun bihi. I'm saying I chose examples with it's maf'oolun bihi. So the verb is split. Who's the doer? We split. Faraqna, what do we split? Al-Bahra, the sea. It's the maf'oolun bihi. Next one. Falahu ajruhu. Falahu ajruhu. What's the translation? Falahu. So falahu is three words. Falahu is how many words? Three words. Fah means what? So. Lah means what? For. And who means what? Him. So in English you write so for him, you write three separate words. Arabic write one word, falahu, or combined, falahu. So for him is what? Ajruhu is his reward. Next one. Ula'ika alayhim la'natullah, ula'ika. Those. You remember ula'ika? Remember it? You remember? There's a homework to memorize six words. One of the six was Ula'ika. 
Evet, Mevla Essex. Hâzâ hâzihi zâlika tilka hâulâ'i ulâ'ika. Allah. Six words for homework is one of the words. Hâzâ means what? This. Hâzihi. This. Zâlika. That. Tilka. Hâulâ'i. These. Ulâ'ika. Those. Ulaika. Those. Those. Now those people there. Those people. They're far away. Those people. What about those people? Alayhim la'natullah. Alayhim is two words. It's ala plus him. Becomes alayhim. What's alayhim mean? Upon them. Upon them is what? La'natullah. The curse of Allah. Can you see the word la'natu? Is light. The word Allah, Lafu Jalala, is Jar. Light followed by Jar is what? It didn't change since last week. What's the light followed by Jar altogether? Mudaf, Mudafun, Ilay. When I have Mudaf and Mudaf now, what do I add? The and of. So I don't say La'anatullah. The curse of Allah. You must do the same motion all the time with me, inshallah. Same motion. It's the same language, same rules, same pattern, same Arabic, all the time. Light followed by jar, mudaf, mudaf, nilay, add the, or add of. Ula'ika, those, alayhim, upon them, la'natullah, is the curse of Allah. Ula'ika lahum nasibu mimma kasabu. Okay, I think we're going to stop there, inshallah. The rest, you can mark yourself homework, you have the answer sheet. You can mark it, inshallah. We're still busy with the 7.2 answer sheet, we'll give it to you shortly, inshallah. Yeah, we'll get the next, uh, next week, inshallah, we'll email to you, inshallah. Okay, today is new work. Well, every day is new work. Okay. So, murakabs, we're doing four murakabs. You should know three, inshallah. You should know mosuf and sifa. Mosuf and sifa. Second word describing the first word, and the matching in jind. Waladun kabirun bi albintu as sahiratu. You with me? Sound familiar? Mosuf and Sifa, sound familiar? Good. Second one is going to be Harfu Jan Ismu Majur. You know 11 Huruf Jar? 11 Huruf Jar? Pita Walika fi ala min ala hatta and one to others. So you know 11. After Harfu Jar always comes what? Ismu Majroor. So in as a simple rule, I'm just telling you that after the harful jar comes the Ismu Majroor, that second word will always be in jar. That's what it is. Third one was now Mudaf and Mudafun Ilay. What's Mudaf and Mudafun Ilay? It is light followed by jar. It is the something of something. The something of something. Last one is Ismu Ishara and Musharun Ilay, and then we're done with Nahu. Last one. This is all I want you to learn this year is this thing. These Two jumlas and four murakkab is all I want you to do this year. Okay, so we're going to stop Nahu in the next two weeks or so. Then you have the whole year to revise and catch up with your homework, inshallah. And revise. I won't give you too much, just that's all I'm giving you this year, inshallah. Next year, do the rest, inshallah. Okay. So your homework was this. Your homework was these six words. They are also in your, you can open up your workbook. to exercise 8.1 exercise 8.1 let's just say the six words so we know them inshallah bismillah hadha hadha hadhihi thalika tilka haulai ulaika ok what you do you can just use your body also you can point with me you point down now it goes close with the right hand inshallah hadha هذا something close هذا the left hand هذه فبسم الله هذا هذه again هذا هذه now point something far 
ذلك ذلك هذا هو تلك ليش هذا اسفه ان شاء الله هذا هذه ذلك تلك اجين هذا هذه ذلك تلك ان فور فينجرز هاف فينجرز داون هؤلاء هؤلاء ان اولئك نعم اكشلي ذا سنه ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يو سو بوينت تو ذيس ذا ذيس بوم ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم بوينت بوينت لايك ذيس ذيس بوينت تو ذيس بوم صلى الله عليه وسلم سو ذيس كان كان ان شاء الله هذا هذه ذلك تلك هؤلاء اولئك ذيس ذيس ترانسليشن نو هذا ذس هذه ذس ذلك ذات تلك ذات هؤلاء ذيز أولئك ذوز تشت يبعتني إن شاء الله مسؤول فرم ميموري with translation يبعتني مسؤول فيو فرم ميموري with translation إن شاء الله ذو سيكس Okay, Bismillah, inshallah. Bismillah. All six again, inshallah. Must know them. Bismillah, hadha, Bismillah. Hadha, this. Hadhihi, this. Thalika, that. Tilka, that. Haulai, these. Ulaika, those. Again. Hadha, this. Hadhihi, this. Thalika, that. Tilka, that. Haulai, these ulaika those okay these are all called uh, each one of these is called an ismul ishara ismul ishara so we ask some questions do you think it's an ism fi'lu harf do you think ismul ishara is an ism fi'lu harf ism that's like asking you when did the 1820 settlers arrive How much is the five rand chips? Is the ism ishara ism fi al harf? It is an ism. Now. Okay, good, good question. Hada is male, masculine. Hadi he is female. Dalika is male. Tilka is female. Ulaika, ha ulai and aulaika is for both genders. It can be in these males or these females, those males, those females. So there's an ism. Okay. Normal an ism, a normal ism, a usual ism, the in can change. A usual, isu, a us, a usual is, ism, like bait, can either be baitun, baitan, or baitin. But you get a special category of isms, they're called mabni. I don't know what the name now. Mabni means like built. Mabniyun means they built, they fixed. Mabniyun, they built, they fixed in a certain way. There's a certain group of isms that the end can't change. For example, these six here. For example, the word hadha or hadhihi. 
Hada with its rough is Hada. If it's Nas, Hada. And if it's Jar, it's Hada. Is the Ism. It's an Ism. Like if I say this, if I point and say this here, it's Ism. It's an Ismul Ishara. In, in English, you call it a demonstrative pronoun. Ishara. Okay, so anyway. Okay, let me to the name first. Ism means, uh, it's Ism, not Ism is, eh? Person, place, thing, idea, adjective, adverb, and more. Ishara means to point, to indicate. Indicate. So instead of, us, instead of saying, Ahmad came into the class, then Ahmad sat, then Ahmad opened his book, I'll say, Ahmad came into the class, then he sat. The he is indicating towards the person, Ahmad. You understand? You understand? Instead, of, instead of saying Ahmad's name, I say that he indicating to Ahmad. If I point to Ahmad, I don't say you, Ahmad, I say, I say you. I'm not, sorry, you started, uh, I'm thinking of something else now. I'm thinking about uh, pronouns. How am I referring to? Inanimate things. So the cap, uh, take the cap, or I can tell someone, take this. Take this here. Yeah. Take that. Bring that. Understand? It's referring to, it's referring to something. So ismul ishara just means the ismul ishara means demonstrative pronoun. A pronoun that you you don't mention the name. You you indicate towards it. This, that, these, those. You indicate to towards it. Okay. Second thing I want you to know is that this thing, this pronoun, this ismul ishara, it's fixed, which mean which means the end can change. So, هذه in rough, how is هذه in rough on? هذه, I don't say i, هذه must be jar. هذه in rough on is هذه. هذه in nasb on is هذه. هذه in jar on is هذه. You with me? It doesn't change. It doesn't change. أولئك, I don't say a, nasb. أولئك is rough on. أولئك nasb on. أولئك jar on. So, in other words, you can't see the hal. You can't see it. You can't see it on the on the page, but it has a hal. You understand? It has like an invisible hal, but you can't see the hal. Is that confusing? No. Okay. It's the same like who are also, who are whom. Bismillah. Give me who are whom again. Who are whom? Here, unna, anta, antum, anti, antuna, ana, nahnu. Those are all isms also. They can't change. Nahnu is always nahnu. I don't say nahnu, nahna, nahni. I don't say that. It's always nahnu. So again, there it's fixed. It's fixed. So you learn two sets of fixed isms. Two sets. The one set is called what? Damir. Huwa, hum, hiya, hunna, anta, antum, anti, antunna. That's one set of fixed isms. Fixed meaning the end, you can't see a visible change. You with me? You can't see a visible change at the end. But it's still an ism. Now you're learning a second set, and you just the last thing you'll do in this class, you will learn the third set. The second set are these here. Hada, hadihi, thalika, tilka, ha ulai, ulaika. Okay. I want to take just one minute quickly with your partner. I want you just to, to look through example one to four. Just one minute. Look at the example one to four. And discuss with your partner what is happening there. Because 1 to 4 has answers. Look at this example 1 to 4 in your, in your exercise book. 1 to 4. And discuss with your partner what's happening there. Okay, Bismillah, let's mark this quickly. Let's mark. What's it? 8.1, I think. Eh? Let's mark 8.1 quickly. Inshallah. Bismillah. Number 5. 8.1, number 5. Ha'ula'i Muslimuna. Translation. Ha'ula'i Muslimuna. Are you all with me? We're 8.1. We're number 5. Ha'ula'i Muslimuna. Translation. These are Muslims. Number 6. Again. 
What I'm trying to trying to get you to absorb today is two things. Number one, simply what is the translation of Hada, Hadi, Dalika, Tilka, Haulai, Ulaika. You must know the meaning of those six words. Number one. Number two, and to absorb today a simple rule that after the Ismul Ishara, after the Ismul Ishara, if there's an owl, then you don't add is. And if there's no owl, and I say no owl, no visib- visible owl. If there's no owl, no visible owl, then you add is. So number six, Haulaiir Rijal, translation. There is an owl, so I don't add is, so it becomes what? These men. Number seven, Ulaika Muslimuna. Muslimuna has no owl. Therefore, I say those are Muslims. How would I say those Muslims? Ulaika Muslimuna al the owl. Number eight, Ulaika those. What? It's uh, behind the cell. Next one, number nine. How ula il muslimuna? These Muslims. How do I say these are Muslims? Ha ula il muslimuna. Number ten. Hada waladun? This is a boy. How do I say this boy? هذا الولد with the L. Next one. Number 11. هذا شجر. This is a tree. Number 12. هذه الفاكهة. This fruit. How do I say this is fruit? Like number 16, yes. Number 13. هؤلاء رجال. These are men. 14. ذلك. Not sure. Number 15. Tilka Sabura That board. How do I say that is a board? Tilka Sabura Tun. Number 16. Hadi Fakiatun. This is a fruit. Is Fakia male or female? Female. Tamar Buta there. If I use Hadi. Number 17. Ula Ika Auladun. Those are boys. Number 18, Hadi Fakiatun. Again, this is a fruit. Number 19, Hadi Waladu. This boy. Last one, Haula Irijalun. These are men. Okay, good. So get the concept. Homework, inshallah, as you must do the next exercise, 8.2. If you're going to find strange stuff, you're not strange stuff, you're going to find things you're not going to understand, like Tilka, Rusul, and all those things. Next week, inshallah, we discuss all of the complicated stuff. Also, we discuss all the labels, Muqtara, Khabar, all the other things, the labels we discuss next week. For this week, just translate. So what I'm saying this week, don't worry about the symbols this week. The symbols on top, don't worry. Only do translation this week. Okay, just straight translation. Nothing. Straight translation, nothing else. Don't worry about putting the symbols on top of the words and so on. Leave that for now. Just straight translation. It should be even.